If you look at my outstanding parameter, it's 1,876 outstanding items, which means I've been lazy. This will be a good time to try the postpone option. So I will go to the outstanding queue. Quack. And here is the postpone icon. Delay repetitions. So postpone. This looks a little bit complex, but actually I don't need to change much here. Here's the number, which is important. I want to skip the following number of top priority elements. So whatever the parameters elsewhere, I want to end up with 30 elements for goodbye. So it's a late hour. I want to do at least 30 or maybe 25, 25 is my, that's my limit, 25. At the end of the day, maybe 25, okay? Now I'll save it as the fall, which means I never have to do this and I have to view this dialog again. I can just make it all automatic. Here I can adjust a couple of parameters. I can say my delay factor can be, let's say four or five items, I can delay them by 20%. So instead of 10 days interval, I'm going to have 12 days interval. I'll effectively add two days maximum interval. Maybe this is a little bit high. I don't want to delay by more than, say, 21 days. A minimum one. For topics, I don't care, it could be even 20. So this means that when I delay items, they'll get delayed by no less than one day perhaps up to 21 days, but not more. I can skip topics. They will never be postponed. Or I can skip items. I don't want to skip items that are above 500 days or even perhaps 300 days. Those really make sure I not forget. Forgetting index, I don't care. Postpone count. Once items get postponed five times, I don't want to postpone it anymore. Priority 15%. I don't want to postpone items with priority 15% or less, which means I want to postpone top priority items from 0 to 15%. Topics. If I set uh, a factor below 1.01, .01, which means this, this field will practically get ignored because all topics have uh, a factor above this value. There's still one tab here. I rather never use it. It's a bit too complex. You can have special settings for individual branches. You can set up as many branches as you want and settings for as many branches as you want. You can have them conservative, liberal, include elements, exclude elements, all crazy things. This is only for perfectionists. Okay, so I can now test my settings. So I have 1876 elements. Um, let me simulate 1851. That means 25 be left. Ah, that's because here I asked. I need to have 25 left for goodbye. So maybe let's do it. Postpone. Postpone standing element? Yes. Okay. My standing key is selling at very short, only top priority things. Between 0 and 1%. Now it's easy. Now, if I want to execute postpone on everything I have failed to do in prior days, can just do learn, postpone, and auto postpone. Do you want to postpone repetition leftovers now? Yeah. Auto postpone has been turned on, okay? Nothing changed because I've just done postpone, so it'll be the exact same thing. And now I can begin learning. To make sounds like a duck. Quack, 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 quack. Quack. Nice. Uh, I did a bogus branch. I was playing with that. I uh, defined the list of different branches of different postpones. And I can see them up here. Different settings. Same for ultimate. I always choose most liberal settings. Here's my list. And those branches we postpone using the own settings. I don't think with all the priority queue, you, you don't need to do that ever. 